Off to a great start. Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, Monday, January 1st. Happy New Year to everyone. Coleman and I, we're here in the Duramax, headed down. Uh, I think this is 85, whatever big highway is. Anyway, we just got in South Carolina. No more across the state line. And got pulled over by a cop. State police. Guy was nice. Uh, we borrowed a buddy of ours trailer because the item we're going to pick up is a little bit longer than I wanted to try to fit on my trailer. Well, apparently his trailer didn't have tags. Luckily, we just got a warning ticket, but apparently, this is for anybody that ever travels to South Carolina, if you do not have a tag on your trailer, do not go to South Carolina because North Carolina laws do not travel into South Carolina, and you can't get a ticket. Farm truck does not matter. Farm trailer does not matter. So, y'all remember that. said guy was nice just gave us a warning ticket so we ain't gonna have to do nothing pay nothing or nothing like that but just a heads up for everybody and uh, hopefully nobody else runs into trouble like that we're gonna go down here and i'll show you the item when we get there if we make it there well you guys we've made the deal it's a new liter L7020. It's not exactly what I wanted because it's a narrow body. It's a high side. It ain't gonna hold as much, but we can spread lime with it from what I've read. And overall, body's in pretty good shape. The truck is junk. Uh, the motor blew up and they cut it out. But the front up here don't look too bad. The bed looks pretty good. See, it wasn't quite what I wanted, but. They come down to the price I was, I was wanting for it, so we're gonna try. Probably not gonna end up making this a yeah, pull type on tractor. Probably cut the frame off up here under the cab somewhere, and uh, well, it's a hitch on it. Just pull it with the tractor for now, anyway. And then we'll go from there, figure it out later. Hydraulic uh, gate back here, hydraulic spinners, hydraulic motors. Everything's hydraulic on it. Let's see if we can get her loaded. We got her loaded. She's on the trailer. That was a job. These back axles are locked up tight. I don't know if it's the brakes or what. We'll have to figure it out. But she's on the trailer. Coma's putting the last chain on her. And she'll be coming to the house. For good or worse. Good, bad, or worse. She's ours. There's plenty of videos on this sucker, I'm sure. I think we're going to make it into a full tight to pull the track. So, she be. Well, you guys, way past dark now, about 7.30, 8 o'clock. We have made it home. Uh, everything went good. No tickets or anything on the way home. No cops involved, thankfully. Uh, like I said before, it's a pretty good looking bed. Uh, we've obviously got some work to do. It's narrower than I was hoping. This was a narrower bed. It's, uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, and you may not have ever seen one, but this one is a lot more steep on the sides. It's made for uh, hauling, like, uh, they had turkeys, uh, which litter is a lot wetter than, like, regular chicken litter, so it's a lot narrower here in the bed. And as you can see, it's, like, really steep sides. So it's not going to hold near as much, I don't think, as our normal spreader truck, but... I still think we can come out all right and put it on a, just cut the frame off and put it on a pull type and build a spreader on litter here on the farm um, and just keep hauling with our dump truck from the chicken houses. I would love to get it where we don't have to, or we can haul with one, but I think for now, I think it'll work. Old body's in pretty good shape. Got a few hoses and things that need replacing, but I don't think it'll be too hard to convert it and make it what we want it. And then uh, we'll be able to spread it on chicken litter and not have to borrow other people's stuff, which is always the ultimate goal. Hey guys, it's Monday, January 22nd. Um, I'm just now getting around to editing this video. Um, I didn't realize how bad my outro was, so it was in the dark. And uh, when we unloaded this, I didn't either didn't have the GoPro or for some reason the footage is gone. I thought I videoed it, but anyway, we got the dump truck unloaded the day or two afterwards, and I really haven't messed with it yet. Uh, we've had lots of other projects going on. There's gonna be a lot coming out in the next week or two um, for you guys to see before, um, you know, before we 
get in the spring we got a lot of projects still going on i was going to kind of go over our spreader spreader truck with you it's a 16 foot spreader body the truck part is junk um it looked like it might have had a fire or something under the cab at one point and they cut the motor out and cut part of the frame or excuse me part of the hood assembly and all that grill out um we still got to get the rear axle i think it's just the brakes are locked up we gotta get them unlocked um 16 foot spreader body it's a new leader spreader it has a hydraulic tailgate on it um hydraulic chain drive hydraulic spinners for the most part um, somebody's done some welding on the spinners but for the most part you know the body is pretty good there's a little rust down in this area and we need to uh, put a piece of angle iron on the inside but for the most part compared to the spreader truck that i've been using of my buddies you know this one is in a lot better shape uh, it's not exactly what i wanted uh, and the reason that being um, this is a steep sided bed which means it's a lot narrower and a lot more straight up which is good for spreading a wetter litter, uh, which they had turkey houses, uh, the people that I bought it from. Um, so that's the reason they had it. So I don't believe it's gonna hold near as much litter as like uh, the one that we normally use. But if we just cut the frame off and use it, you know, as a spreader on the farm, and when I haul and dump my litter, if I just pile it up each, you know, have a pile for each farm, you know, it won't be that big of a deal, I don't think, cause uh, you know, I can just load it and you know do it that way uh, my buddy that i've been using this spreader truck i think he'll still let me use it if i'm wanting to haul from you know from a house um, but here's the inside of the bed that was part of the headlight that uh, was about to fall off so i just threw it in here before we headed home but for the most part i mean there's some surface rust but um uh, my buddy's truck you know all the way down the sides on both sides are eat up and i mean he's done a lot of patching but overall, I think this is a pretty decent bed. I think it's in pretty decent shape. And I think it'll work for what we're wanting to use it for. Um, I've been keeping my eye out to see if I can find anything, anything that was better and more ready to go on the truck, ready to go. But everything I've looked at, you know, the spreader has been in a lot worse shape and the trucks were junk and they were still bringing like five and $6,000. I paid $2,000 for this setup. Did have to haul it two and a half hours, but you know, pretty i'm pretty tickled with it i just wish it was a wider you know bed so if anybody has any leads on a shredder truck or spreader body close to central north carolina that's in decent shape for not a lot of money uh hit me up my emails uh i'll try to put it down in the description if not it's uh in my uh my description on my you know main youtube page but here she is Hopefully this isn't too long-winded, but this will be a, probably an early spring project just because I can't really fit this in my shop and be able to do a lot with it, so probably wait till it warms up. So, appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully somebody enjoyed it. Uh, see y'all on the next one. Um, I'm going to put this in this clip, and I'll probably put it in most of my videos coming up. We're going to be going to the uh, National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I think it's the 14th and 15th that we'll be there. It's the Wednesday and Thursday. It's the first two days. Uh, Coleman, Sierra, and myself will be there. Um, so if any of y'all want to meet us or whatever, just get with us. And look forward to going and look forward to meeting some people. Thanks, y'all. Have a good one. God bless. What do you think, Jack? What do you think? He is just happy to be outside. Yeah. Yeah.